in this video i will show you the derivation of equivalent inductance when inductors will be connected in series here we will find the equation of equivalent inductance when total n inductors will be connected in series and we will replace them with a single inductance l equivalent for example here in the figure one i have total three inductors l1 l2 and l3 see they are connected in series because one end of this l1 is connected with another end of this l2 one end of this l2 is connected with one end of this l3 so they are connected in series see the three inductors of the figure one can be replaced by a single inductor as shown in figure two and we will see that if i replace these three inductors with this single inductor it will not change the current and voltage property of the circuit so i can say that the l equivalent or the equivalent inductance will be the equivalent inductance of l1 l2 and l3 as it will not change the property of the circuit so let's say i am applying a voltage v between this terminal to this terminal v as a result we get a current i flowing in this circuit and i am applying the same voltage between this terminal to this terminal here you will see the same current will be flowing in this circuit as we get the same voltage and current in the circuit we will say this circuit is the equivalent circuit of this inductive circuit see this will be a total series circuit so the current i will be same all over the circuit see when there will be a change in current that means d i by d t will not be equal to zero we will get a voltage across the inductors let's say the voltage across the inductor l1 is v1 the voltage across the l2 is v2 and the voltage across the l3 is v3 see current will be entering from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative in case of l1 see current will be entering from this direction so this side will be positive and this side will be negative in case of l2 and this side will be positive and this side will be negative in case of l3 now see if i apply kvl in the figure one you will see at first i will encounter this negative terminal and the positive terminal later so i will get plus v after that i will encounter positive terminal first negative terminal later so minus v1 positive terminal first negative terminal later minus v2 minus v3 that will be equal to zero now if i write down the equation i can write it like this v will be equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 this will be our equation number let's say one now we know that the voltage across an inductor is given by this equation v l equal to l into d i by d t so from here i can write down v1 voltage across the inductor l1 will be equal to l1 d i by d t v2 will be equal to l2 di by dt and v3 will be equal to l3 di by dt now see in case of figure 2 you will see the voltage v will be the voltage across this l equivalent so i can write it like this v will be equal to l equivalent divided by see the current through this l equivalent will be d i by d t so i can write it like this see if i put the value of v1 v2 and v3 and v in equation number one i can write it like this l equivalent into d i by d t equal to l1 d i by d t plus l2 d i by d t plus l3 di by dt see in the right side di by dt will be common in all the terms so i can write it like this l equivalent di by dt 
will be equal to if I take that di by dt common here I will get di by dt l1 plus l2 plus l3 see if I cancel di by dt and this di by dt I will get l equivalent equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 the equivalent inductance of series connected inductors is the sum of the individual inductors if we have total n number of inductors connected in series our equivalent inductance l equivalent will be equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 this is how up to n number of inductor so when we will see we have some inductors in series we will add the individual value of the inductors to get the equivalent inductance equivalent inductance indicates that we can replace all these inductance with a single inductor okay that's it thank you